I wasn't seeing them. Like when all those transactions were being done, all my money was being taken out of my account. People were starting to make like YouTube videos about this company. They were starting to write blogs, articles, all this stuff. Next day, I woke up, y'all, all my money was gone. And hundred dollars down the drain, gone. When you invest, you're taking a risk. And when you take a risk, you can win or you can lose. But the beautiful thing, y'all, I told y'all there was a plot twist to this story. A climax to this story. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video if you are new to my channel welcome hey my name is christina nice to meet you if you are an existing supporter welcome back welcome to another video so y'all it's been a little minute since i've done a mukbang so i figured because i'm you know eating something different for once it's been a long time since i've had chinese food so i figured i would turn it into a mukbang but i'm eating wings sesame chicken and pork fried rice. I did low key start eating y'all because I am hungry baby, I'm hungry. But that aside, today is Thursday, February 9th. It's currently 6.52 p.m. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, I'm about to share with y'all a story time, the time that I got hacked and the time that I got scammed for like $800 y'all, okay. So I'ma start eating first. And then we're going to get into the story because I need some energy, like some energy, okay? Mm. Oh, I have my duck sauce too. I forgot to bring the hot sauce in here, but that aside, y'all, I'm not going to tell y'all the story time. So, once upon a time, I was investing with a company, right? And um, I don't want to say the name of this company because again you can't mess up the bag okay so when you telling a story time you gotta be smart you gotta be loyal <laughs> no i'm just kidding but all jokes aside y'all when you when you telling a story time like as a youtuber as an influencer you gotta be careful not to like expose like certain names and stuff because you don't want to put them in a bad light but then again i don't feel like it will put them in a bad light because there is a climax to this story so I'm going to just say I was investing with this company once upon a time, y'all, and I was making bread. Like, I think I invested like $200 somewhere around there. And then by the time I was done, I was my, like what was in my account was like $800. I made a good $800 off of this thing that I was doing, right? So... I could be more specific. I was trading at the time. I could be more specific. I just won't say what company I was using to trade or whatnot, but I was trading at the time. Y'all know, like, if y'all are familiar with, like, cryptocurrency and stuff like that, this was in 2020, I believe this happened. Um, but yeah, I was, <clears throat> I was trading cryptocurrency at the time. That was when crypto was like such a big thing, y'all. Everybody and their mama was doing it, but so I ended up trying it out and I made really, really, really good money. Now, personally, I believe if I didn't get hacked, I really feel like I would have made way more money. But uh, this is what happened. So one day I got an email saying. I need to verify my account or something like that. And y'all, that day, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was on my way to go pick up these, um, well, I was waiting for my husband to come home so I could go pick up these pictures that I ordered to print at Walgreens. And, you know, he was busy working, so he didn't get to come home at the time that he said he would. So originally I was gonna wait for him to see like is this email legit or not? Cause I'm like, that's weird. Like it never I was trying to cash out some money, I think. I was thinking about it. And I was like, usually when I cash out, it don't ask me to verify my email and stuff like that, y'all. So 
they asked me to verify my email and I did but when they did they started putting your password y'all I should have known that was a red flag baby I should have known so I put it in or whatever next day I woke up y'all all my money was gone like $800 down the drain gone and when I caught on to it it was too late because I tried to call the company but the problem with that company is like in order to um like have access to someone over the phone it's such a long process so the only thing I really could have done with that um at that time mm. hold on y'all this food is so good I haven't had Chinese food in a long time y'all comment below if you like Chinese food and what is like your go-to order usually when I was like really really into eating Chinese food my go-to order used to be these honey wings I think they had like buffalo barbecue as well or sesame chicken y'all and it was slap but today we went with just the plain fried chicken wings but that's like my go-to order and then I used to love like um what is that called I used to love like wonton soups crab rangoon all that stuff y'all but I made a choice to start eating healthier so I don't eat Chinese food like I used to like this is the first time in a long time I've had Chinese food so comment below if there's anything y'all think I should try mm. so back to the story so I called the people they didn't pick up obviously so the only option they gave me was like through the phone I could lock my account right lock my account hoping somebody would call me back they didn't call me back only option they gave me was to be able to email somebody y'all y'all know how frustrating it can be when I just lost $800 and I'm about to email you? I can't call? I mean, I get it because you could just imagine like having to deal with somebody on the phone, losing $800, like, or just losing money in general. Like, that can be a lot. Cheers to learning from this experience. <sighs> yeah, so the only thing I could do the way that company is set up was call and just lock my account immediately. But again, even after I had already locked my account, I already lost all my money. So I ended up emailing the company, y'all. And then I just told them like, you know, I lost my money, this, 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 and that. So what ended up happening, like they were like, oh, we don't usually refund people their money. I even went on YouTube, this guy, was talking about how he lost six figures with the same company baby i was devastated like for months i reactivate my account they asked me several times that like, you want to unlock your account i'm like no like unlock it for what i mean if i lost my money y'all can't give me it back because remember i got hacked how and my thing was too like i felt like me getting hacked or scammed both I personally felt like it was an inside job because at this time too y'all there was a lot of articles and stuff coming out about this company causing people to lose their money and this happened like for a good five six months straight and I'm telling y'all I wish my account did not get hacked or I didn't end up getting scammed because I know I would have ran it up way 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 more because with those cryptos like I know some people that made money like they ran it up a little bit extra you know what I'm saying so I was a little bit bummed about that so they emailed me and then I told them like look I got hacked it was an innocent mistake so eventually they told me like 
your email password was compromised whoop de whoop so now you need to change it all this stuff so i went in change my email password and i think while i was on the phone with them they were like oh make sure you check like your deleted messages and stuff y'all these people because what they also did i think was something that's called like a phone swap so somehow they tapped in my phone no they swapped my phone number to their phone number to verify like my account password and stuff and it got sent to their phone and then all the emails that was coming in from that particular company that I was invested with, those people, when they went in my email, they made those messages automatically go to the delete box, automatically go to the spam box. Y'all, them hackers, them spammers, them scammers, they are smart, y'all. Like, they are so damn smart because first you send me an email that looked just like the email from the original company itself i'm talking about the colors that the company used the address that the company used every single thing so the email looks legit right so they did that after they did that again like i said they set it up in a way where they told me to put my password in excuse me to verify my information when i verify my information y'all took my email password Took my email password, y'all went in my email, set it up to automatically send those messages to be deleted. So I wasn't seeing them. Like when all those transactions were being done, all my money was being taken out of my account. Because remember, how it works is they have to go in my account with this other company, sell the cryptos that I had, which I had like four or five, but they converted the cryptos first. So I was getting email notifications, but those notifications was getting sent to the trash. So I wasn't seeing them or whatever. So it was getting sent to the trash. They were converting the cryptos, then selling them and then making money like that off of my account. And they transferred the money to like this private wallet or whatever and literally took all my money out of my account y'all so hold on y'all moral of the story is just be careful like be careful with hackers be careful with scammers y'all be careful now i'm not saying uh, now be scared to invest like that has never stopped me from trying with other companies or wanting to invest and things like that. It has never stopped me. I feel like everything is a learning experience. So that happened. But the beautiful thing, y'all, I told y'all there was a plot twist to this story. A climax to this story. A few months later, like after I sent this company all the screenshots to really prove to them that I got hacked. They gave me my money back and I was so freaking happy, y'all. I was so freaking happy they gave me my money back. And I feel why they gave me my money back, like I said, because people were starting to make like YouTube videos about this company. They were starting to write blogs, articles, all this stuff about how people are losing money through that company investing in crypto. So I was like, you know what? they smart to redeem themselves and fix their reputation they reimburse these people their money and i know a little something about taxes right if i'm thinking how business people think when it comes to taxes all that money they gave back to the people that they lost i guarantee you they wrote them off on those business taxes easily but Shout outs to that company for giving me my money back. Again, I don't want to say the name out of respect for them, but the fact that they gave me my money back, y'all, I was so happy. And it was a time I needed it the most, y'all. And it's a time I was least expecting it. But yeah, that's the story time pretty much of the time that I got hacked. I'm trying to see how many minutes is on this um, thing, but I'm getting full, y'all. I'm trying to finish this, but I usually don't finish this anyway because this is a lot of food but yeah that's the story time of the time i got hacked and i got scammed eight hundred dollars but thankfully like i said that company redeemed themselves and they gave it back and i would have invested again in crypto but crypto was not the same y'all it was fun don't get me wrong like it was fun and it was good like making money doing it because i 
was so blown away like even making money that quick that I was ready to teach other people I actually put two other people on to doing it but unfortunately it died down and I wish it would make a comeback but I don't know if it will ever make a comeback like I just don't know if it will ever make a comeback but that crypto money was it was good and I know some people too that invested like originally in like Bitcoin and things like that but it was really good so I don't know I wonder if crypto will ever make a comeback I'm not sure but it was cool it was definitely cool but don't let that stop y'all from investing or trying other like business ventures or investment ventures I've never let it stop me because I feel like when you invest, you're taking a risk. And when you take a risk, you can win or you can lose. Not necessarily lose, but learn something from things not going how you wanted it to go. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all. I cannot finish this food, y'all. I absolutely cannot. This is strawberry lemonade that I'm drinking. Cheers to another mukbang. Cheers to not getting hacked in 2023. <laughs> and cheers to not getting scammed in 2023. Yeah, I would say that's my first experience of getting scammed. Other than that, I've never been scammed before. I've always been like safe and stuff like that and as a tip i would just say keep your password protected if you're not sure if like an email is legit from a certain company your best bet is to actually call that company directly and say hey i got an email from here i'm not sure if it's legit or not is there a way to verify and usually the company is able to help you to verify if that information is legit or not like one of the things i've come to love with gmail they can tell you if an account is like a phishing account or a scammed account. So, you know, if an email come from a certain email that's kind of like spam or something, they'll be able to identify it <clears throat> and tell you. But make sure y'all stay safe on the net. Comment below if you've ever had like a experience of getting like scammed or hacked and just comment below like some tips and advice for people to help avoid being scammed or hacked. So that is all I have for y'all. I'm gonna finish my drink. Cheers to ending this video off. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be.